Now, uh, if this uh, solution with a hang-up messes the, the flow of the application, there could be an alter alternative. We could uh, just create a new modular name it dial salesman and go back to the sales. Just copy this for later use. Uh, I think it's better to copy this, it's bigger. So the functionality will be transferred in this uh, module. Good mm, dial verb two. Extension Oops uh, I think I meant to remove this one. Anyway I just remove this from here and ah, as you have noticed the target uh, has changed it's reset since the steps were removed over here so I'll just uh, chooses target the dial salesman so after the extension has been captured control will be transferred uh, here and uh, dialing will be made so I, I just uh, propose this an as an alter alternative if you don't want to to put uh, to use a hang up and mix the flow of the of the module it's just to leave it serial uh, th th that's just a workaround okay so uh, now uh, there is also uh, about the persistence and deployment uh, of the application you could use uh, these two buttons the save draft just uh, persists saves in the on the server side whatever you can see right here all the modules and steps steps are are saved but saving uh, won't uh, make your application runnable all you can see here the startup url uh, the application won't be runnable by restcom although uh, it will be displayed in the list uh, there is no option uh, that uh, says that the project is deployed uh, or not yet it has to be added anyway so saving uh, persists the application deploy first persists and then make the application runnable so in order to, to test it you have to hit deploy I'll just hit it here Let's see. Oops. I'm not sure it was saved. Anyway, ah. Uh, the problem here is that we haven't chosen a startup uh, module. Uh, the startup module is the, the module which the application will uh, start with and it has to be specified in order to for an application to be runnable so i'll just use the welcome module i'll hit deploy and okay it seems to work so what you can see here is the rcml output for the for the first welcome uh, module uh, now Generally, for an application to be runnable and not uh, produce errors and exceptions, uh, there are two things uh, one should take care of. First, ha have specified the startup module and then make sure there are no invalid uh, warnings in any of the modules, like let's say this. Okay, just make sure there are no red. Uh, 
oops support yes that's what I removed uh, previously uh, support target yes press one to talk with one of our engineers so we use dial verb here and a hang up over here I'm just trying to rebuild it I accidentally removed uh, these steps anyway so if uh, the caller presses one this is step because pen, uh, this is step 25 sorry for the Greek okay no, I think that's it so we'll hit deploy now as you have noticed having some uh, some validation errors for instance if I remove this and add something here I'll just hit the refresh as you can see the application has been redeployed deploying uh, containing errors that means that uh, validation errors won't stop the application from uh, deploying so take care for the time being validation is uh, is mainly on the client side uh, okay I think that's more or less RVD press it close thanks for watching